karibu kwenye tutorial leo tutafanya kwa kutumia QJS namna ya kutafuta um, catchment area kwa ajili ya kudizainia mitaro ya barabara kitu cha kwanza tunachofanya kuja kwenye Google Earth kija kwenye Google Earth una unafata procedure za kawaida unatengeneza polygon ya eneo unalotaka then utakuja kwenye App Explorer huko una download DM ile ya ile eneo unalofanyia kazi after that hiyo potential fanya DM yetu ni hii hapa then una unakuja <coughs> leo ni kile yes unalifungua ile file tunaliadi tunaliadi kama rasta tunaliadi ile kama rasta ya hapo desktop ndota tunaliad okay close then tunakuja hapa tunabadilisha hii tunaweka utm 36 wgs 84 utm 36 south na apply then tukuja hapa na reproject naenda rasta projection tuna warp projection target ni hapa ni hapo then tunataka tu reserve ile ya file ambayo tumeli project na reserve kama desktop de bottom tutaseka kama project na reserve kama tif na save then tuna run kirani <coughs> sushamaliza <coughs> kwa hiyo hapa tuli tag tunaliondoa tunaliondoa hili bado kuna na hii projected sasa <coughs> hapa ebi tu tutafute to add image to add web image kwa ajili ya ili tuone eneo letu vizuri nakuja hapa quick map service google earth tunapiga google satellite okay google satellite na hii reproject tufanye hiyo siwe opaque iwe transparent kidogo so ntunde hapa unapenda kwenye eneo lako na ulitaka Let's say ya pando barabara yetu ambayo tunaifanyia natoka ku design drainage kwa ajili ya barabara kutoka hapa mpaka huko. Na tutafanya tutaita crop hapa kwenye eneo letu ambalo tunafanyia kazi kama kawaida. Kuja tu hapa extraction clip by extent na clip hiyo ni projected. Kuja hapa. Na select extent on canvas. ni hapo. Hapo. Then tuna save wapi? Tuseme ni projected clip D. Ni projected clip D. Hasa clip D actually ni crop D. Crop D. Then baada ku crop U na run then ya hapa tuitaji kwa tunaizima ya hapa ndio inakuwa tunaifanyia kazi hii ndio tunaifanyia kazi hii cropped so baada ya hapa tunaanza sasa 
hii tabii tu feel think kama kawaida Fili hapa Kayo Fili DM Shuna isimu kama Fili Kama Fili For direction Na nyota isimu Kama flow Direction Ila Self Fili Hii ingine What is it at save Then Tuna run Kisharani Tende vea Nampostia za kawaida Yapa bado Unafana tukama kawaida Kama unitafuta kesi minti za kawaida Amna kitu kipi yapa bado Kwa unazo ukaskip Kama hizi prosedia unazifamu So Chua kufanya Flow direction yetu ni hii hapa LDM Haya ok Tusha na ni hii flow direction Nazo tukaizima Afu hii flow DM tukaipandisha juu Then hii clip D tukaizima na inyo Tu itaji size Ok Nata hii flow direction ya tuto itaka Kuna tumia flow DM Kwa hivyo tutaingia kwenye strala Oda Strala oda Tutumia field DM Then tuta Tuta save with strala Strala Then tunarani After here Namba sa uwanzo kwa makini Kwa sababu Ndo tunanza kwa kuzumunzia kisi vitu ambazo kidogo ni vipi kwa vipi sana ya ni vipi haibi ni concept ndo tutanza kuzumunzia hapa baada ya sala sala yetu ya hapo then nito kiselecti sala ukajia property mababadua yee Single band if so local Then To not classify To not classify To not apply Then Tari So So But to not end up on your last calculator In this case To not want to vote Not to want to sell a order Okay, let's do it here for Panza. Shwa Stala order. Let's say it's greater than. Let's say 5. Let's say 8. 8. It data Stala 8. Stala 80. Shala 8 My save Tugia ok Shala 8 ya mna kitu Ndiyo Kwa hitu na yandawa Hatu itaji Hatu na kakuleta Masi Kwa hivu 80 2 is to 0 8 is to 0 8 and you're in a key to and to a to take it is to a 5 and can't remember now with the one dog do Unavo zidi ku Mitu inaziti kwa na accuracy Let's say less than 5 Let's say greater than 5 
inaitwa Strala 5 ndio hapa nimepata tumto wewe mtu mdogo dogo kwa hiyo naweza kusema Strala 4 3 paka 2 kwa unatengeneza stala 4 str4 sevo ya hapa mtu imeongezeka kwa unaweza kutengeneza tena stala Sala 3 Sala 3 Mte mwengezeka I think Mweza tuika ishi hapa Mwengezeka mingi sana Inawazi mwengezuri I mean inawazi mwengezuri I mean inawazi mwengezuri So Hizi mwengezuri kazi funga za kuacha star 4 kwa sababu ndio kidogo ina make sense kwaje tupunguze opacity yake tupunguze opacity yake maybe to 50% tuzime star order tuzime na fade dm tuone umeona barabara yetu ni hapa kuna hapa hii pereji unapita hapa ungepita hapa una pita hapa mko una pita huko. Nikisema labda stala 3 uone na kuwa stala 3 ni mito kama imeongezeka hapa. Una pita hapo, pita hapo. Wapo mito mingi. Kwa hiyo kadi tunapoongeza na tributary zinakuja huko. Sasa na hizo tributary utakuwa unazi include. Ila mara nyingi huwa tunazungumzia ile mito mikubwa. Mto ni na star 5. Naona kama star 5 maana kia hapa ndo kuna kamtu kana katiza. Na hapa ingine kana katiza that means na ingine kana katiza huku mtokuwa uta face choice utumia iku ipi kati ya hizi ya hizi hii hii au labda ipi kati ya hizi mtokuwa unajiuliza labda hapo na utakachuangalia ni kumfano kusuma utumia 5 that means Hilo it nature eneo lako labda. Huku code yani hapa port hapa hapa. Hamna kutoweka calvert lolote. Calvert tutaweka moja hapa na nyingine huko. Na nyingine labda hapa. Huko code uweke calvert. That means ndio tutaitumia hii hapa. Au kwa mfano labda umejipanga kwenye barabara yako hapo utaweka calvert, hapo utaweka calvert, hapo utaweka calvert. Labda na somewhere ya hapa labda na hapa na hapa na ukuteka calvert then unatumia hii kama una uwezo sana unaweza kutumia hata hii sema hii inakuwa i make sense kwa sababu naona maji yanatoka mengine huku yanakuja au kama hapa maji yanatoka huko yanakuja maki wake calvert hapo je kwa na huko hapana ndio maana itabidi tutumie hii hapa ya nne tutatumia hii sasa baada ya kupata hii itabidi sasa uanze ku tutatumia upslope. Ndio kwenye upslope. Ndio kwa nini tunatafuta upslope area. Utafungua coordinate capture hapa una click hapa hapa kanakuja then una start capture. Sasa so, tunaenda ku capture sasa barabara yetu ni hii hapa. Hii ndio tunakutafutia drainage yake. Let's say tutaanzia hapa kuja huko. Ndio barabara tunalizeni. Hapa kwenda hivi atuachane nako. Tuanzia hapa kuja huko. 
Kwa hiyo mtu wetu wa kwanza anaoka barabara ni huyo hapa. Kwa hiyo tunaklik hapa. Coordinate zake zinakuja hapa. Then unaanza copy. Hii bado of course unamfahamu wote. Hizo mke sana. Tunaichukua. Hayo unaweka hapo. Elevation yetu of course ni clip di clip di extent after the name I try to the clip color of field on field and we need to save the file up slope save the file up slope 1 na sebu then tuna rani kisha rani una iyo na iyo hapa this is your up slope unaza uka Bado ndo kumesha njia nzuri. Unaweza kukata kata hapa. Ukakata hapa. Je, tukakate. Tutaka ukakata hapa tuna vectorize. Kuja hapa last time linear. Mm, analysis. Last time Miscellaneous The upper conversion Let's look for you To try Vector right to polygonize Polygonizing To now polygonize the upper slope area Let me organize here. Wait. Here is the upper one properties. Symbology. Okay, and then don't know what the upper one is. Last time, three years. Last um, three years here. Analysis. Conversion here. Yeah. Apple organize. Apple organize the up slope area. Yep. Tonight Apple organize. Tonight save. He vectorize the art. To make them come back to one, he vectored save from a shape file, then to my save, then to my running, then to my Marisa, then to my crop, Sasa, Kanani, to my crop, Wako, other cap slope, we last have my crop, Quack to me, I am. Jaya slope area rasta extraction clip by mask layer type me vectorize it clip and then in the clip is may save somewhere you come at if I will save in the default, default format. Same drainage one. Drainage one. Save. And run. I 
in the background after finishing this image Yeah, yeah, yeah. Try and properties. Transparency. We'll do it to 10. Stretch it 10. 10. Yeah, oh, 10. Yeah, copper. Kana on the corner. Then, after that, 10 the oku. 10 the lay. Finish go up as I That capture. We are going to go coordinate. That is another upslope. That is another upslope. That is another upslope elevation. LDM can create. Get the upslope to. Yeah, I'm going to go to the right click. Let's say it may. I'm going to right click property. Transparency, I got 10. It kuna hii na hii. Kwa kuna hizi hapa. Kiangalia hapa, sumaona kuna hii hapa. Kuna haka hapa kairi haka. Kapa kairi haka. Let's say, say ito uchukua hapa. Say ito uchukua na hapa. Kidogo to capture. Uh, aka have a stream. Can I collect money from somewhere? Let's capture here. Then, bad up and a quereza concept to be in the name. In another name, you can bear it. Tofana Munyo. Compare to Fana Munyo. Okay, so no video can you? Upslope, kama kaida. Upslope. Upslope. Make the coordinate to the caption. Image to the capture, then then you have to touch the actually DM up it go up slope three. The up slope three, it's not run. To Sharani, Tapata ka catchment can gain a cup slope can gain a drainage. Gapa Kado Kari, maybe to check property. Okay, 
Na ini hapa naeka 10. Ok. So, nazani hapa, you can get the idea. Kwa mfano, kutoka hapa, suppose tukua na calvert, paka huku, tukua na calvert. Hapa, kuja huku, maji ya nakuja huku, kwanzi ya hapa, nakuja huku, na kwanzi ya hapa, maji ya naenda huku. Kwa ya sasa, kwa mfano, nataka catchment, I mean, nataka kudizaini umu taro. Taro wangu wako, nataka uwe na uwezo wakileba maji kiasi gani, umu taro wa hapa. Sindi yo? That means, sumona, hizi catchment hizi mekava ere hizi huku. I mean, hizi, hii mito hii, hii mito. Ina collect him haya huku maji. Hila, maji ambuwa na kuwa generated, same kama hizi. Haya napa kuenda huku ya zi. Haya hizi kuenda, kwenye hili mito kule kwa huya na kuja huku. Kwa haya, ndo tunayatengezea artificial channel hii, amboni mtaro. Sawe? So, unakuja hapa, tuna measure area, simple tu, wano kaka mtaro wa kuenda huku, kuja hapa, kwazi kaka catchment kichika kini kadogo tu. Kaka hapa, kaka hapo. Tawa, haka hapo sikuwa meter ni ngapi hizo? Hizi hapo au sikuwa kilometer? Hii hapo, sikuwa kilometer. Then, tuseme, kwa kini kesi ya ya, umutaro na uguja huku. Kishimenti yake ikidungi na inyo tunawala kona ni kubwa, kwa wana ipini ya hapo. area ambao ya jawa covered na hizo kesho hindi za stream zote ambao hindi nakuenda down iyo wa maji ya napakwe anapakwe na lazima atenda kwenye mtaro kwa hapo tukipigia kwenye square kilometer sina kuwa hii hapo hizo point 6 square kilometer kwa hiyo hapa kwa mtaro kwa nakuwa kameisha sawa kwa ukitaka habda ya hapa mtaro kutuka hii covered hili mpaka hili hapo Ntaro hake wa upande wa huko upstream. Huku downstream obvious. Uto itaji. Ntaro. Ukubwa. Utapopo ya hitu kidogo. Chakufanya nini? Chaku. Chakufanya. Chaku kiare majambu ya ntuka barabarani. Na utaka provide. Ika mtaro utuka dogo. Ila upande wa huko upstream. Majambu ya ntuka huku juu. Huku ndio. Ndi uta provide. Ndi. Mwenda wa saa tuone. Haba pia, una start capture, kuja, una capture up. Up, cha capture. Tunadada tina up slope ya. Ya, mpige up slope. Ya, mpige up slope. Hapo slopu. Deni ya batu na instruction. Giza ni field DM. Deni ya slopu area. Jina zero ma slopu 3. At slopu 4 actually. Slopu 4 na zero. Atuna rani. Hmm. Deni, tunakuja hapa, una the properties, naika transparency to 10%, ya oke, haya, mwona sayi, ya hapa, ya hapa, mwona hii, ilivu, kwa hapa kakechment kia, tuni haka hapa, haka hapa kairi haka, sasa, 
wakati tuna design ni mtaro hapa nikwambia upande wa huko hatuna haja nako sababu maji kote yanaenda chini ila tukiangalia hapa maji ni kama anarudi huko umeona haya hapa yanarudi huko kwa hiyo kwanza tamtaro kutokea hapa kushuka huko paka hapa kandega kae na uwezo wa ku at least kwa accommodate hii nani hapa hii catchment hii hapa hii hapa paka hapa sababu haya maji yana yanakuja huko ili itabidi akamtao kaweze kwa accommodate <coughs> kwa fanto ya kwanza tunaendelea kushuka hivi ungeona moja tu extension nyingine hapa slope hapa ili tuone kama huwa hapa ni kuna slope inakuja huko kwa sababu mbona kamto kanaweza kuwa maji yanakuja hivi kwa hiyo tuna start capture tena naweza kusema una capture una capture hapa kwa ajili ya kamto akutone je kana pokea maji kutoka upande huu kwa kama kampokea maji kutoka upande huu that means taro upande wa huko tabidi ni onsila na kapcha unaenda na slope so we to x s Ni ya pendo kwa upslope ngapi? Upslope 5. Save, run. Rani. Tukaangalia ka properties Naka 10% K Muka wana ka Aka hapa Kwa hizi za juu hizi ya upslope ngini hizi na za tukaizima kama hiyo ilo kwa hajia senti kwa ya saa hapa umeona mtu wa shuna hii hapa mwona kwa mba haka haka kastrimu haka kana pukea kote huko kote huko kwa hiyo hili kudizaini mtaro upando huko huko tbd kuda kwa nsida siyo kale kaili ya kadogo kale kalbo kwa kama kata yengo kale kwa hapa tana Reote Paka hapa Ndo mtaro wa Upande wa kwa mbolo Utaguja kudisali kwenye Hii channel ya hapa Unashuka ukuchini Tawa Unawana usijia uka confuse Kuna vitu hapa unawaza uka confuse hii ni ya upandu wa huko haka hapa haka kamutu haka kwa mtaro wa upandu wa huko unawaza ukazi unganisha pia uka unganisha unawaza uka nchanganya uka unganisha kwa sababu tumawana kwa mba huu huu mnini huu mtu unawutabiba ya pamaji yote ya tenda huko ndi Haka hapa kama mtu waka Haka hapa Kata beba Kata beba ya hapa maji Kini ukiangalea vizuri kako very close Na barabara Kama umulivoni Kwa almost Uni mtaro wa mumu jitokeza naturali Haka zi waka stream uni mtaro Kwa huu haka kama mtaro Tofauti Tofauti na huu kwa mbako ima yu tuwashe ya ambapo umeona kabisa inani yote inenda kwenye uwa pa mto ukuhivi hapa unajia kweka mtano mkubwa 
ya kuanzia hapa sasa kuja huko. Hapa ndio utakuwa naja kuweka mtaa upande wa huko. Kama ulivyoona kuna aka hapa ka stream mark. Aka obvious aka ni kama mtaa. Kaikuwa ni ka really stream tusingekuwa naja kuweka mtaa hapa. Ila kwa sababu kako very close na barabara, wewe kwa na mtu ambao una run parallel na barabara ambao ni mkubwa. Kwa hapa itaidi tutaweka kama mtaa wetu ambako ukubwa wake kwa determined na catchment ambayo ni hapa sio yote mpaka huko upande wa huko ni mtaro wa kushuka hivi upande wa huko ni mtaro wa huko ila akacha huko tulisema kama kuna area nyingine huko ambao ni hii hapa simona kuna ka area hapa hapa pia kote hapa kana define mtaro wa from hii sehemu ya canvas mpaka hii sehemu ya canvas hapo. Sawa? Kwa mfano unataka kuendelea, unaweka tena up slope kwa hapa. Nyingine utaweka kwa hapa. Nyingine utaweka kwa hapa. Ila meka up slope pale ambapo unaweka nini? Canvas. Aweki tu up slope sehemu yote. Yaani mfano kama hapa uweke canvas, unaanza kuweka up slope tutaweka huko ambako tunaweka calvert tunaweka hapo up slope afu yale maeneo yanayo by confano hem tuweke hapo up slope afu tuone hapa ati hapo up slope afu tuone au kama mtu mwingine kwa back ni absolute fiber ni absolute 6 kuja tu yone kana kwa nyesha case kama hiyo Zumbuni na kuweka up slope <coughs> ni kuangalia kiasi gani cha maji kitabia bwana I mean area ipi katika hizi na ni ndeni yetu itabeba maji yetu yatabeba na natural channel sababu hiyo mtaro ni artificial channel ambayo unaitengeneza sio maana kama hapa hapa kwa hapa we need some more information sababu tu decide calvert yetu itakuwa hapa tuchukue na ka up slope ka up Merudi, start capture, sige up slope hapo. Slope 7 Ok, you don't go down and get 10% Passive team Ok, that's a mona It's me join you up Enjoy. So, provide lambda. Aka po na kaya dino ako. Apo wezi ka calvert lambda. Kwa sa bago mo diyo ngin. That means, ay amadi yata na kwenye nearest channel. Ambo ni downstream. Isa apa au au kama hapa ni lazima uweke calvert that means hapa utoweka kama jitabidi ashuke paka hapa 
jaje kuja kuweka kavati lako hapa au ungepiga slope hapa lakini of course hapo katika sehemu mbili hapa na hapa hapa ndio sehemu nzuri ya kuweka kavat sababu hapa ni down hapa tirini up nimesema hivyo sababu simuona hizi branches iloka inodi always way na kuweka downstream nodi kama inodi always na kuweka downstream so kwa hapa sasa nisema catchment yetu ya kaka mtaro hapa itakuwa yote yote hapa akachania si atuja kagusa na shumo akapo kama hapo umeamua uwe kikalba tu kwa sababu moja au nyingine labda kwa kuuliwa survey physically kaona haina significance yote that is our catchment that is our catchment okay nachukua hiyo una proceed sawa i think we are dan kwa hapo unaweza kaona catchment ya hapa ni upande wa huku mta design ya hapa sasa upande wa huku uko design au wa design ile lote sababu sababu wait simone inachukua na hizo natural streams kani kwa kuambia mwanzo ni utarejea nilisema nini kuhusu hapa so kama una swali utaniuliza asante sana kwa kunisikiliza